Welcome Taurus, here is your horoscope for the forthcoming year. Sometimes a stitch in time saves nine, a rolling stone gathers no moss and a dyslexic Alsatian gathers no parsnips, but on this occasion you choose to ignore this sound advice and on the 4th of January you discover a mole on your back that you've never noticed before about the size of a chocolate button. You rush to the doctor fearing the worst, cancer of the back but you are embarrassed when the doctor tells you that it is, in fact, a chocolate button that you laid on in bed. At the beginning of March, your retail business finally goes bust after struggling to survive for the last nine months. Don't be downhearted, concrete and cotton buds are us was never going to be an easy business to get off the ground anyway. I suggest you look for employment that's more suitable to your disposition, maybe as a nurse or a bouncer perhaps. If you are considering installing a new bathroom in your home and you believe in the concepts of Feng Shui, you'd be well advised to install your new toilet in the northeast corner of your bathroom, as it has been proved that crapping in this direction is beneficial to piles. In mid-June, your 16-year-old daughter returns home to tell you that she has had sex for the first time. Now, this is a bittersweet experience as, on the one hand, you begin to realise that your daughter has started to become a woman and she's finally grown up. However, on the other hand, she's also your little girl and if you catch the bastard, you'll wring his bloody neck. On the 15th of September, you abandon your attempts to make yourself invisible as you realise that if you are successful, the retinas of your eyes will be invisible and you'll be blind and you were so close as well. You're not normally unkind, but around the 25th of October, some Jehovah's Witnesses call round and catch you in a bad mood, and the flamethrower has to come out from underneath the stairs. Unfortunately, just as you pull the trigger, they step to one side and you end up cremating your fence. However, it's not all bad, as a hot ember torches their entire stock of Watchtower magazines. As for love, well, you do live next door to a home for the blind, perhaps you could persuade one of them? Lucky number, three fourteenths. Lucky animal, grizzly bear, but watch out, because sometimes their claws can be sharp.